up guys welcome back to another episode of marvel card collecting and investing with me ginger man cards in today's episode we're going to check out the top 10 marvel card sales from last week some very interesting cards being sold and we're also going to check out the golden auctions and where we are at in terms of bidding so stay tuned marvel cards baby <laughs> Alrighty, in at number 10 this week, we have a beautiful buyback card. It's an Alpha 1 of 20, 1994 Flair buyback, blue and gold. Storm leading the charge with the gold team, and then Cyclops with the blue team. And I think it's a sick card. This went for $350, best offer accepted. And there's been a number of different buybacks sell in the last three to four days. Some absolute stunners, I have to say. So when I saw this card, I thought, yeah, this is a beaut of a card. The Alpha looks in pretty good condition. And it's very, very hard to get um, a good condition buyback. So one thing to remember. But yeah, solid sell in at number 10. I thought the artwork was just beautiful. In at number nine, we have a card from the 2014 Rittenhouse 75th anniversary. This is a ruby, so numbered out of 50, of Spider-Man. Uh, in a PSA 9 slab, which is no mean feat in itself, this went for $510, 20 bids. Um, one thing to remember with these rubies, that they are archive boxes only from Rittenhouse, which is another thing to consider. Uh, but you can see there, three of 50. Solid card, solid grade. Fair play to whoever won that bid respect in at number eight is a sketch card this is from the 2018 marvel masterpieces set and it's a sketch card by bella and i'm going to butcher your surname but i'm sorry uh, i'm going to say racklin <laughs> uh, one of one and i actually remember seeing watch me open again if you don't know watch me open fantastic uh chap in the marvel card world opening some superb boxes and whatnot and all that kind of thing fantastic work i think he did an interview with bella um and i remember it a while back but this went for 555 dollars and i thought it was an absolute banger of a sketch card i thought the colors were just sublime the way it's presented just really really nice you can see the 2018 sketch but i thought that was a really really nice sketch card from the set and of spidey alone so i wanted to share that with you guys in at number eight this week. In at number seven, this is another stunner. Uh, 2007 Marvel Masterpieces Spider-Man foil in a PSA 10. They put Rare Grail. I mean, it. these foils are very, very special from the set. Uh, 2007 again, MM, some really nice cards in there. These foils are definitely one of them. Uh, underrated set, but this went for 810 Dollars and again, I'm not sure what the population report is, but I'm assuming um, it would be fairly low on these ones in particular from 2007. So yeah, nice card in at number seven. In at number six, we have another card from 2019 Flare, and this is a stained glass variant of Wolverine, numbered out of 20, uh, and this went for 888 dollars. You can see the eight of 20. Uh, do love a stained glass. I think they look really, really nice. Really, um, really clean. Really, just cool looking cards. You can see there on the right and left. But yeah, really, really nice card. This went for 888, 24 bids. Solid sale. In at number five, we have a full shebang of 2020 X Men Metal Geodes. So complete set 1 to 24. They put SP, so short print and super short print. Um, and this went for one thousand five hundred dollars. I mean, again, no, not an easy thing to do. Um, obviously, we've had the cool off from the twenty twenty X Men Metal kind of explosion, and then people buying stuff off ComC and things like that. But there's some sweet cards. These geos look really, really cool. So it'll be interesting um, to see who this went to. But congratulations! I thought that was a really nice lot to to purchase, and that storm there looks. Very nice, I have to say. Goodbye. In at number four, we have 2020 Marvel Avengers Endgame set, which we don't see pop up too much. But this is a Chris Evans Captain America auto. Something very, very different. I would imagine this is a Captain America collector. 
um, which is most likely the case. But yeah, really, really nice card. This went for, again, $1,500 best offer accepted. Not something you see every day. And I like, I like the suit. I like that a lot. I like the colours. Really, really cool. And again, you've got the auto of Chris Evans, who's doing some big stuff, big acting roles. and just had a Netflix um, film come out. So, you know, he's in demand, this guy. Um, so, yeah, super interesting. Nice to get an auto of Chris Evans. In at number three, we have 2020 Marvel Masterpieces Hall of Foil Speckle. So these each numbered out of 99, and it's a set of 20 cards. This went for 2400 Dollars, and I can see the Star Lord there. Some absolute bangers. That Wolverine alone is a is a winner winner chicken dinner. Uh, as we go through the list, you can see some of the big names: Captain uh, America, Venom at the bottom there, Mystique. Well, only one picture. I, I I'm always like, mm, why are people only doing one picture? I want to see all of it. I want to see the backs. There are the backs of the cards as well. They're just as important. Um, but nevertheless, strong sale and. Um, yeah, hopefully that's gone to a good home, but beautiful cards, and it's shiny. People love shiny stuff. That's just a fact. <laughs> um, in at number two this week, we have more X-Men Metal. This is uh, a PMG green, so it's the Ultimate Wolverine, card 165, and it's numbered out of 10. Uh, this ended up at $3,500, best offer accepted. And just one thing to note, there's been a number, a number of green PMGs sell very recently. You can see the serial number there. Uh, and one to note, which I jotted down, was Jubilee selling for $1,900, no, $1,425 also for a green, uh, which I thought was a really nice Jubilee card too. But yeah, a number of X-Men Metal Greens, once again, popping a little bit. And some that I haven't seen uh, before pop up, so that's interesting. But yeah, strong sale in at number two. And then finally, in at number one this week, we have my girl, Storm. And I'm not being biased with this, but I promise, guys, listen to me. Um, from the 2015 Fleer Retro set, Blue PMG, numbered out of 50. Another PSA 10. And I wanted to check that this wasn't the same card as one that sold in Golden um, back a few months ago. And it wasn't different um, different serial number. So that's good. Um, not that that's a problem, but this went for $3,833 compared to a $5,400 PSA 10 back on January, February, March on golden auctions so that was super interesting to see the difference between those two again to get a psa 10 in any pmg is just insane um but this is a banger of a card and um, you know you know i love punk punk storm uh but this one in particular blue it's a poppin uh but yeah probstein has been selling a load of load of Marvel cards this week, which has been fascinating. And I have to say, this has been a tough week to pick a top 10. I could have went um, for several other things, but some really, really strong sales. And I, you know, quietly surprised. Um, maybe, you know, has the national paid a part of that? You know, has there been a lot of, you know, uh, I think Rare Air Collectibles bought a hell of a collection to the Nationals, which is fantastic to see amongst some other players um, in the Marvel card game. So, you know, has that created more eyeballs on some Marvel cards? Who knows? But yeah, honestly, some really, really good sales to see. Um, and one thing to mention or special mention was 1992 Marvel Masterpieces again. PSA 10s, a load were selling. There was one in particular... Uh, that I wanted to feature, but run out of uh, numbers. <laughs> uh, Iceman in uh, a PSA 10, that went for $510, which is about $150 to $200 above any of the other PSA 10s in different characters. And there are some top tier characters that I was outpacing. So again, is that set collector? Most likely. Uh, not a card I've seen in the PSA 10 too much, so probably a very low pop in this scenario so yeah that concludes the top 10 let's have a look at what i've chosen for my bargain basement card of the week and then we'll properly pop over 
quickly pop over to Golden Auctions uh, to see where we're at with some of those prices uh, on the small lot of Marvel cards this time around. So I picked up this and I thought this was superb. Um, and this is a Black Widow or Natasha Romanoff. Uh, and this is a Marvel Avengers Artist Prusso AP. Uh, and it's a WIP. So what does WIP mean? So effectively it's work in progress. Um, so just down in the notes we have, uh, this is an artist proof in progress, so WIP to us, by Rittenhouse Archives. And again, it's the Marvel Avengers set back in 2011. Um, and these are uncut at four by five inches. So, you know, different kind of size card. And I'm, I'm a big fan of jumbos. I've got a couple of jumbo vintage Marvel cards, which I'm very fond of. But APs are very, very special. And I think that kind of would need a separate episode in itself. But I thought this was just insane. Um, and again, all completely subjective, especially when it comes to Marvel cards and sketch cards in general. But look at this. That's the back of the card, as you can see. And then, boom. <laughs> wow. Absolutely insane here. Uh, but this sold for $350 and not something you see pop up every day, believe me. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys this week. Um, just as something different, I think that's very special. And then lastly, let's head, head over to Golden, see what we've got going on over here, shall we? Uh, a lot of bids coming in. So the 2013 red in a PSA 9, so none higher, currently at 12,003 bids, which is strong. Uh, I say strong, we'll see where that one goes. 16,000 so far for this 2017 green spidey in a PSA 8, so MM1. Uh, we've got the lot of Marvel Rittenhouse um, autos from the Iron Man set, which includes a Robert Downey Jr. auto, which I said I think sold for around 7,000 not so long ago on its own. Currently at $4,500, nine bids for that. Uh, the sealed box of 2013 Fleer Retro, um, possible precious metal gems, <laughs> currently at 13,022 bids already. And just a reminder, there's five days, four hours remaining, so fascinating. And then two, 2017 Fleer Ultra Spider-Man case of 12 boxes, currently at $20,000, 15 bids. That has to be, again, that is hot, that is hot. I do wonder where this one will go in particular. I really do. I would assume 50k minimum. Again, that's me being, I would say, cautious. But I'm pissing in the wind here. <laughs> As the, I think that's a British expression, maybe. Uh, and then finally, we have the 2017 Jambalaya set uh, from the 2017 Fleet Ultra Spider-Man set. Sorry. Um, all in PSA grades. Currently at 16,000 dollars and 17 bids and this is higher than i expected at this point in time if that makes sense again some really good grades eights eights generally six there but eights nines really really strong the warring there as a nine um but yeah very very popular cards jambalayas and uh, rightly so there you go that concludes this week's episode i hope you've enjoyed it hope you've got some value uh, stay tuned I've got a cheeky episode coming out very shortly with uh, Vala Comics. And later on this week, we're going to be doing another episode with JB from Cardboard After Dark. And hopefully you can join us for that. Stay tuned and remember Marvel Cards, baby. Have a fantastic week wherever you are. Peace.